Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. Please um, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be informed of upcoming videos. Um, and if you're returned viewer, thank you for your ongoing support. And don't forget to thumb up the video if you're enjoying it. Um, if you follow my Instagram account and uh, you would have noticed that June is my birthday month and I've already shown a few sneak peeks um, of some of these items and so if you are not following my Instagram account please take a look there it's the same um, name as this channel at ng unboxing and um, there i do post um, sort of more up-to-date um, new items that i'm enjoying or just um, yeah random short videos um, so yeah please take a look now this beautiful gift box um, it is still the mother's day packaging but um, it is definitely past mother's day so i think um, they just uh, thought it's nice to give uh, a special packaging. Uh, my husband must have told them that it is a birthday gift for his wife. Um, so I am so excited. This is the first time where he's completely mash what I am very much into. So I'm very excited to see what he's got me there. Well, look at this. So he's got me the Coco Mademoiselle um, two items it looks like and I suspect these are the samples um, that he got gifted uh, at the store. So it's a Le Lift um, concentrate. I suppose that's the serum. Um, skincare product I I don't know I hope I can use this because last time I went to um, the local boutique at Chanel to try out some of the makeups um, and if you haven't seen that uh, unboxing video I'll leave the link um, they did sort of apply oh it's the eye cream there we go um, they did apply sort of you know a bit of skincare to prep my skin and I have to say I think I reacted to the fragrance they are heavily fragranced um, which I do enjoy the scent but afterwards uh, my skin got a bit itchy and my eyes got a bit watery so I have to actually go home you know you know once I got home I have to Please sort of wash my face um, this is a spot serum so yeah I, I don't know um, whether it will work but hopefully it does now this is the Coco Mademoiselle perfume um, which uh, is my go-to everyday perfume nowadays for work um, it's the 50 mils uh, bottle which is the smaller size bottle compared to the one I got over Christmas. Again, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it um, on the screen and down below. Um, so yeah, look, he must have um, checked with the boutique pro profile um, about which uh, perfume I have been purchasing or he's been taking a sneak view of my YouTube channel videos either way that's very thoughtful of him so pretty I do love this Chanel bottle um, it, it looks so elegant and luxurious um, you know makes perfect um, decor around the house I do uh, just to compare this is the big size the mama size and then the baby size so cute together God, look at how much I've used already from the big bottle and this is after me really doing my samples first before using my big bottle so yep definitely time for a refill or an extra bottle shall I say rather than refill you know I do wish that Chanel actually produced refillable perfume bottles um, it's just I guess a bit more environmental really and hopefully 
the refills at a cheaper price but probably not gonna happen with Chanel um, so yeah I mean there's that so next I've got here a um, lotion it looks like it's a body fragrance body lotion with the Coco Mademoiselle lotion um, I don't know again I don't know how my skin re will react to it I will need to do a uh, review uh, for you guys after I've started using this as I said I do have a bit of a sensitive skin but I do find that I have tried like heavily scented lotions before from other brands on my body and I've had no issues it seems to be only when I apply scented products on my face and my neck um, that I have issues oh, I also can't spray perfume on my neck um, which is a bit annoying um, but if I spray it on my upper chest and my sort of arms and wrist um, you know that seems to be fine but um, yeah for some reason I think my neck and my face the skin is probably because it's thinner and it's a bit more sensitive it just doesn't tolerate uh, fragrance that well um, directly onto the skin um, bottle is very pretty very photogenic um, yep so it's just like that mm, smells divine um, you can't wait to use this um, look I am not expecting it to be very hydrating given it's a lotion and I think it's more for the scent and the fragrance and apparently if you apply perfume on top of scented lotion and body cream it makes the perfume last longer so that's that one now the next item is actually a gift um, is a, a birthday gift um, that I got from Chanel Boutique I actually got an email on the day of my actual birthday um, in my inbox uh, telling me that there is a gift waiting for me for me to pick up at a local boutique um, so it looks like they don't actually send out the birthday gift with online orders it looks like you just have to um, go to a store to pick it up so that's good to know because I was wondering whether you know because I did hear that you do get sort of gifts um, you know with your birthday with online put uh, with the Chanel put, uh, beauty uh, store but I just wasn't sure whether you know the um, give that to you just with you know online orders that you make uh, on the month uh, or whether you need to uh, present to the boutique well there you have it that's that's the um, that's the story at least in Australia uh, it looks like you get an email telling you that there is something waiting for you um, so ooh, so yeah now I guess you might be a makeup pouch I mean um, it's quite a decent size uh, so this looks like it is um, made it just feels like it's cotton fabric um, that is uh, got the Chanel local very simple uh, black um, cotton pouch um, I like how the bottom it's kind of um, got a bit of a width to it so um, you could be put you know more items in and it can probably stand um, on its own with that uh, that width to the bottom um, and here you've got the tag that says Chanel inside doesn't really tell you where it is made in um, which then I assume is probably not made in France because if that's the case they would certainly be advertising it uh, on the tag um, but overall look the pouch is quite well made I have to say 
um, the zipper is quite smooth and the fabric is quite substantial feel it's got a substantial feel to it um, would I and here you've got the uh, logo uh, zipper tag uh, would I be using it for makeup I don't know I've got a, quite a few makeup pouches already um, that are also sort of gift with purchase type of thing um, but they are much smaller in size whereas this one is much bigger I don't carry big makeup pouches like for makeup I really I just carry a lipstick uh, at most um, so yeah I think I might actually use this for something else I think it would be quite good to sort of as like a um, you know a pouch for my work bag just to organize my items perhaps um, but yeah no thank you Chanel for gifting me that um, and now the next purchase um, is what I actually purchased uh, in store when I went to pick up my birthday gift I actually you know booked a um, appointment uh, at the store to actually get some perfume experience and then the email came um, luckily on the same day so I got the chance to pick up my birthday gift as well as uh, went along with my original appointment to uh, pick up a perfume um, or have a perfume uh, testing experience at the local boutique um, so yeah and ooh, I love this box um, it's quite substantial it's got the Chanel um, sort of embossed uh, on the front and it's very pretty um, and so I'll go with um, the two looks like they've left um, gave me two samples uh, to try so it's a sublimage uh, cream sample that they have given me um, um, and this is the other sublimage uh, that uh, sample that they dropped into the box for me um, which is very nice of them um, and this is the essence so yeah can't wait to try these again you know I think skincare Chanel a bit of hit and miss but this is the star of the show literally this is the Comet um, 200 ml uh, bottle um, so I actually went in there with an open mind um, to my perfume appointment um, very lucky that my local boutique um, store actually has quite uh, is quite spacious and it does have a session dedicated dedicated to perfumes and um, they have a sales associate that, um, that is again specialized in the perfume department uh, rather than the makeup and yeah no she sort of you know talk with me first and find out what I liked I told her you know I like the Coco Mademoiselle but I want to you know try test out any other sort of different ones I tend to like a bit more of a floral not too overpowering scent um, and so she uh, went with that to sort of you know spritz a few um, perfume um, on the card whilst I sat you know uh, far away so I don't know what she's actually spritzing so it's a bit more of a blind test so I'm not influenced by you know what the name or you know previous marketing of the of the bottle of, of the perfume um, yeah and you know after blind tested testing uh, this is the one which is kind of um, a bit serendipitous because I went in there thinking oh I need to try the Comet um, I haven't have been able to try because I've been unwell and with sinus sinus infections and things like that so I wasn't gonna go and try you know sniffing on perfume when I can't literally smell anything 
Um, but yeah, no, it was uh, it was very interesting that with the blind testing from the exclusive range, um, this bottle is what I liked. Um, you do have to try it um, on you know on your skin in store because it it really does um, develop quite different fragrance uh, when you spritz on your skin and allow some time for it to change and react with your um, skin pH or whatever you know whatever it is that is reacting on your skin um, so yeah no this is my first uh, exclusive bottle from Chanel so very excited um, the bottle it's so beautiful and luxurious looking um, and the scent really it does it you can I couldn't really smell much of the cherry boss blossom which is one of the you know scent uh, in this perfume I couldn't really smell the the cherry blossom when it was on the card but when I spritz on myself I can really smell that cherry blossom and you know it really takes me back to the um, many years ago when I traveled in Japan I thought I was not gonna make um, the cherry blossom season because every year is different and even though I plan ahead to hopefully it was the cherry blossom season it only it only blossoms for a week or so and so by the time I got there um, it yeah it's it w the, the the locations where um, I thought it was going to blossom has already finished uh, blossoming. But one of the towns that I visited, um, sort of at the bottom of the snow mountain hills in the north part of Japan, still had the finishing tail end of the cherry blossom still blossoming. So this is what this fragrance reminded me of because initially the smell was gave me I don't know why but it gave me more of a winter type of smell and um, but then after a while the cherry blossom scent comes through and so it really reminds me of that memory beautiful memory of driving um, in Japan you know going to the top snow mountain where it was the hot spring and then after that I was just driving down uh, with my family yeah it was just cherry blossom I was like so thrilled because you know I had the snow and then as well I was driving down it was the cherry blossom um, so that was very beautiful very precious memory and this fragrance brought me that memory back which is very beautiful um, so here it is um, that's all I have for you today I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you do because I've got a few more uh, June birthday unboxings to share with you until next time bye